So we're on to the Lambda cheat sheet. So Lambdas are serverless functions. You upload your code and it runs without you managing or provisioning any servers. Lambda is serverless. You don't need to worry about the underlying architecture. Lambda is a good fit for short running tasks where you don't need to customize the OS environment. If you need long running tasks, greater than 15 minutes, and a custom OS environment, then consider using Fargate. There are seven runtime language environments officially supported by Lambda. You have Ruby, Python, Java, Node.js, C Sharp, PowerShell and Go, you pay per invocation, so that's the duration and the amount of memory used, round it up to the nearest 100 milliseconds, and you are, uh, uh, and you're also pay based on the amount of requests. So the first 1 million requests per month are free. You can adjust the duration timeout uh, to be up to 15 minutes and the memory up to 3,008 megabytes. You can trigger lambdas from the SDK or multiple AWS services uh, such as S3, API Gateway, DynamoDB. Lambdas by default run in no VPC. To interact with some services, you need to have your lambdas in the same VPC. So, um, you know, in the case of RDS, you'd have to have uh, your Lambda in the same VPC as RDS. Lambdas can scale to a thousand concurrent functions uh, in a second. A uh, thousand is the default. If you want to increase this, you have to go make an AWS service limit increase with AWS support. And Lambdas have cold starts. If a function has not been recently executed, there will be a delay.